full time at the Carlisle grounds and it's finished. Uh, Bray Wanderers nil, Waterford FC one. And um, Bray starting abysmally again, giving away a penalty within the first five minutes. Connor Crowley pushing over Connor Parsons, upset striker Cameron Cresswell, and he slotted coolly into the bottom left hand corner to give the Blues a lead. Waterford were dominating after that, but um, and had a chance uh, only a few minutes later. A great block by Sean Quinn um, from a solid uh, Connor Parsons effort and sending it uh, away from the goalkeeper. But the tides began to change then uh, in the first half. Uh, Cameron Cresswell picking up a yellow in the 27th minute for um, a late challenge on Cole and Moore one. And then um, a loop ball in by Ryan Burke was headed down. Cresswell picked it up. Um, th- uh, his touch took it into the box and uh, Amaral collided with him. The referee, surprisingly, uh, to the crowd's astonishment, uh, didn't give a penalty. Instead, he booked Cresswell for the second time and uh, sent him off. Uh, Waterford were up in arms and um, it was a very content- contentious decision, a replay's kind of showing and incon- inconclusive really, could have gone either way um, Bray uh, then had much of the possession for the rest of the game but they didn't really do anything with it, it's a tale of their season, they haven't been able to finish well their best chance came in the 55th minute Darren Craven with a long range effort cannoning off the crossbar and back out, he's known for them, and one of them might come off soon but uh, not tonight um, Bray kept peppering crosses in or came efforts but goalkeeper Sar- uh, got Waterford's goalkeeper Sergeant was equal to them he was probably man of the match tonight uh, collecting every cross that came in really so again it's finished Waterford won Bray Wanderers nil here at the Carlisle Grounds